All right, YouTube, this was going to be a leashy video using the YH65 leashy to make a key to a, like a 2015 um, Yamaha YZFR3. And um, got this ignition on eBay. Like I get you know my locks from the junkyard or eBay to do all these videos. And I have used this leashy uh, three or four times at a motorcycle dealership I do keys at, and it's worked perfectly every time. Uh, however, on this lock, which the seller claims is a Yamaha brand OEM lock, that's what they're claiming anyway, uh, when the tool goes in, uh, it's like it doesn't go in far enough. I'm reach around the camera here. So this has eight wafers in it, or it's supposed to anyway. But there's uh, nothing on one, two, or three. So it's like it's not going in far enough. So it's I messed around here for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes here. It's definitely not going to work. So... Um, figured I'd go ahead and just take the lock apart and see if I can just make a key that way just for uh, Kind of just for the heck of it, I guess so I see these little caps here. Look like they need to be popped off Now I've never taken one of these apart, so be Doing this uh, together, I guess All right, so the caps are off and we have Torque screws these are actually look like the security screws. So let me figure out which bit this is and um, Be right back here all right, right now that's my van. I think it's, it's a T15 uh, is what the size on this is, or T20, I mean, I'm sorry. And um, we'll pull them out and we'll see what happens here. Put the key in in case the cylinder comes out. I don't want to lose wafers because this did actually come with a trunk lock or seat lock too. So I would guess they'd be off the same bike and be the same key, but it's eBay, so who knows. So get that screw out. That one out. All right, so the, everything came out here. The cylinder came out, key and everything. So got it right here. All right, there's a spring in the back here, so I'm gonna take that out. And trying to just hold this in a way that I'm not gonna drop any wafers. And I just dumped the screws. That's okay. So there is like a dust cover in here too that just fell out. That's just uh, that's just the dust cover and the screws landed on my feet, which is always nice. So here's the lock cylinder itself, and there is eight wafers there, like normal. So let's put the leashy in real quick. All right, so now the leashy looks like it is all the way in. So I guess that dust cover is what the problem is. So it's either an aftermarket ignition or something's just different about it. Let me see. Uh, number one here is working now. We'll go all the way to number eight. And you see number eight wiggling there too. So uh, it is. Man, <clears throat> yeah. So something is going on with that dust cover. So. I'll uh, we'll go ahead and just see if we can make a key for it here. We wipe all this tri flow off here. I lubricated the heck out of it trying to get this to work without taking it apart. It's the beauty of leashes, you know, is not disassembling stuff. And so I'm going to take a look at this. Um, these only have three depths on them. So I don't know if anybody can see here. Yeah, putting the key in, I should be able to just eyeball this like one, one, two, three, one, one, two, two is what it looks like here. Eyeballing it, I'm gonna write that down because I'm not gonna remember. I'm gonna take a look at one of these wafers too while we're at it here. Pull out number eight, and these actually are stamped too, so. If you couldn't eyeball it, you could actually just read it that way. I'll show you. I don't know if I'll be able to zoom in on that enough or not. Yeah, you can see it. So, yeah, this, it is stamped here. So, that's number eight's a two here. Uh, but only three depths. It's pretty easy to sight read. So, let me just put that back in. All right. So, I'm going to just write this down here, and then I'll move the camera over to the key machine, and we'll, uh, we'll waste a key. 
kind of hesitant to actually waste the key if I can't do the leashy video since you can't buy these keys currently, but uh, I got a few. So let me get the camera moved here and we'll cut it and see if it, uh, see if it works here. All right, moved over to the uh, Condor Dolphin here. We're going to turn it on. And I've never cut one of these with this machine. The last, uh, last time I did one of these bikes, uh, the key specs weren't in the Dolphin, but they uh, are now here. So I'm just searching on uh, YH65. It comes up with Jet, and it has a 7 bidding and an 8 bidding. I, I don't know what the 7 bidding's for. Uh, I've never encountered that. Um, the leash is 8. Uh, there's 8 in the lock, so... We'll just go ahead and select that, and it's going to tell us it's a shoulder stop key. So we'll use our shoulder stop here to get the key uh, chucked up in the vise. And hopefully this, uh, hopefully it works here, because like I said, I can't, you can't get these keys right now. Jet's not making keys anymore, not right now anyway, and they're the only company that made these keys. All right, so I got it lined up on the uh, shoulder stop there. I'm just gonna double check, and make sure here, because like I said I don't, don't really want to waste the key. All right, should be good enough here. I get it clamped down. I wrote down my bidding. So the bidding was one one, uh, one one two three, one one two two. So one one two three, one one two two, and uh, here we go. Smoking a key. So key's cut. Let me move the camera back over the lock here. And we'll uh, try it out and it works. And we'll put the lock back together. All right. So here's our lock. I got our trunk lock here, seat lock, and it does work. That so something anyway. I put the key in. Everything should be flush, and for the most part, it looks like it is. So go ahead and put it back together, and we'll see. Uh, See if it works here. All right, so dust cover. Just drop that in. And then our cylinder. We have the spring here. Try not to drop anything. We go ahead and just actually stick the key in so I don't drop any wafers. Alright, so the tailpiece here has it's a little shape and there's actually, we look inside here, but I don't know if we'll be able to see it or not, but there is. Not going to be able to see it, but I take my word for it that's that the inside shaped in a way that that, that tailpiece fits into. So it really can only fit in there one way, so it should be good to go there. Take the key out. And we do have a little notch, a little uh, indentation there and a little notch here, so we know that this has to go on this way. And there is a spring. Okay, so I got it in there. Make sure the key will go in. All right, key is in there, and we'll just replace the screws. And I used to cut these on the HPC machine. It's actually the first one I've cut on the uh, Dolphin.
All right, so that's back together. And really the moment of truth here on does it work. And it does, so. And there's your uh, four clock right there. And then start it. All right, so the key does work. I don't know why the leashy doesn't work other than, you know, that dust cover uh, it seems to be too thick for it to go all the way in. Uh, seems to be the issue with it. So that's, I guess, the other way to make it, to make this key here is to take it apart. Pretty, pretty simple. Comes apart really easy. Um, not too bad. I guess it's probably a lot harder getting it off the bike, which, of course, I didn't have to do in this case, and I don't have to put it back. So uh, it's good for me, I guess. So. Anyway, if you guys have a question or comments, I'll put them in the comments. Um, I do you know, try to answer everything. There's even an email address if you want to shoot me an email. And uh, really, I guess that's all we got for this video. And until next time, we'll uh, talk to everybody later.